Tennessee. Um, I went to Bayview Community School, which is just a few blocks away from my house. Still, I can hear morning announcements from that school almost every day. And then I went to Lord Bang Secondary, which you guys may know it from getting blown up in X-Men 3. Um, that is really, really where my love of film started. I didn't really, um, I didn't really enjoy film so much and uh, really making movies so much until, um, well, until I started going to that, uh, my film class in grade 10. And that was mostly just to get out of drama because I hated acting and I really couldn't stand up in front of people and act. So I went into film and uh, had the greatest time. Um, basically just worked on concept development and making a bunch of great films, uh, really, really well-made stuff. And we did lots of film festivals within the soon uh, student area, um, including the Zoom Fest, which is the 48-hour film fest. I did that for three years, and that was really fun, from grade 10 to grade 12. And we had some really great movies come out of that. But, uh, but I really only ever did editing for fun, really, um, where I always just take, I'm always the one with the camera, taking videos and pictures of everyone and combining them into montages. That's where my uh, love of editing really started. Uh, and that's something I've always, always enjoyed. If I got you, I like it that way. If I got you, then I'll be okay. If I got you, I like it that way. But my love, really, for, uh, in the arts, really goes into music. Where I just first discovered, um, local musicians. Where I just, I just love, love, love local musicians. Um, I started listening to this a local band who used to busk on uh, Robson and Howe, right outside Sears. They were called Ryder Jones, and I went and bought their CD and just fell in love with them. Um, and I just thought they were absolutely phenomenal. Um, and within that year, um, at my high school's Remembrance Day Assembly, they played a song called Soldier by one of my now favorite artists, Sean Klukoff. And he absolutely phenomenal, absolutely even probably even more phenomenal. Um, and I've seen Sean numerous times since, but didn't really uh, never met him until uh, January 2009, and really started getting connected with his music around music around then. And since then, I've discovered numerous um, artists like Andrew Allen, Colin Bullock, Laurel, uh, the Lone Ranger. Greg Sabell, David Blair, and a bunch more. Um, and I've had the pleasure of watching their careers grow, um, including Andrew Allen, who got signed to Epic last October, which was a huge, huge deal for, uh, for him. And it was really exciting for me to see, considering he's played in this very backyard before, two summers in a row. I'm a huge supporter of what they do, because they're doing it because they love music and they wanna get their message out to people. They're not, uh, they're just not trying to sell out. Um, and it's, uh, it's just really cool to watch them, watch them grow as artists. And they're really, uh, what I would love to work with in the future. I already have a few music videos, idea, uh, ideas for a few of them. Um, Colin Bulk and I have an idea I'd like to work on for my fifth quarter assignment. Um, I'm really excited about that. Um, and basically, I'd just love to work in music videos first because I know, I know that's where a strong suit lies for me and I, I could work in music videos forever and just be happy. Um, and really that's where I'd like to go first and then see where that leads. Uh, but local musicians and helping them make music videos and helping get their message out there, promoting the local musicians is really something I'd love to do.